Hi everyone and welcome to Left on Red. My name is Red and this is r slash Am I the Butt Butt? Our first post is by Didn't Wake Up GF. My girlfriend has online summer courses and she had an exam for one of them this morning. I usually wake her up for pretty much everything because she sleeps through her phone alarm no matter how long it buzzes or how many she sets. She has joked that I'm her butler before and within the context of a relationship, it's okay, so I didn't mind. Obviously, I want to love my partner and try to make her life easy. However, last night she was chatting with her friends and she thought I couldn't hear. She was bragging that I'm her little bee and I do everything for her when she tells me to, etc. It really hurt my feelings because they were making comments like, Good, put him in his place. And she was agreeing. She specifically said, Yeah, I'm not worried about tomorrow because the bee will make sure I'm up and he'll probably have breakfast ready for me too. I went to bed pretty hurt by it and come morning, I didn't bother to wake her up when her alarm started to go. She usually only gets up when someone physically shakes her. But I let her turn off her alarm and she slipped back into her sleep and I turned around and went back to sleep too. When she woke up, she was yelling at me saying, I am a butt butt and I've cost her her exam and I'm a piece of crap for what I did. Edit, sorry for not responding sooner. I wrote this up on my break at work and now I have to get back to it. Can't have my phone, work with food. I wasn't expecting this many replies so fast. I think we're breaking up. I told her this morning after she called me a B for being upset regarding being called a B, but she says she's not done with me. I'm just trying to get through today's shift and then deal with stuff later. I'll try and get back as I can. We have been together a year and it was my first real relationship. But I'm tired of her not acknowledging how crappy she made me feel and still calls me a bee. That word is really making me feel like crap and small. Well, OP, there are way too many red flags here. She should not be disrespecting you like that and you need to get out yesterday. Get out! Our next post is by Smelly Ugly Pouch throw away because her brother knows my reddit. Hi, my 34 male girlfriend, 21 female of two years is Native American and she had this small beaten up leather pouch. It was about the size of a golf ball and it was beaded but there were beads missing and thread exposed and the leather was stained and greasy with something. It was supposed to look like a turtle or a lizard or something. But it was so beaten that it was hard to tell. The thing absolutely stunk. We had it in a box of keepsakes along with our photos and other things and it made the box have a musty smell. Imagine my horror when I asked her what the thing was and she told me it was her umbilical cord. It grossed me out and I thought she was joking, so I laughed. She looked upset, so I asked if she was serious. She was. I asked her why she had it. And she told me it was her people's cultural practice to stop you from searching for things or something among other things. I thought the sentiment was nice, but it stunk and was hideous. I understand that some people keep teeth and that sort of thing, but teeth don't stink and teeth aren't kept in a strange little pouch. The whole thing skeezed me out, so I put it back and left it alone. But two weeks ago, she was sleeping. I was going through our things and wanted to scan our old photo. I opened our keepsake box and the wave of musty air hit me. I couldn't take it anymore, so I hid the thing in a box in the basement. We went through our photos and things together. It was a lovely night. We did it over wine. 
and she didn't even acknowledge that it was missing. I even asked her if she noticed anything gone from our stuff. She said she didn't. I laughed. So yesterday I decided to rid us of it and put it in the trash. It went and I could breathe a sigh of relief knowing my girlfriend's actual entire mummified umbilical cord was where it should have been to begin with. But today her mom called and told her she was willing to remake the pouch for her if she sent it. Oops! She proceeded to tear apart our room looking for it, sobbing hysterically and not listening to any kind of reason. I'll admit I felt bad. Maybe I should have left it alone. But why even keep such a thing? I came clean and told her that I threw it away because I thought she wouldn't notice. She started screaming at me and said it wasn't my right to throw her things away. I reminded her of when she threw my favorite shirt away just because it had a hole and a grease stain. Okay, red here and it's so not the same thing. That pouch had cultural significance to her and your favorite shirt with a grease stain and a hole, come on, it's not the same thing. But anyways, going back to the story, she told me it wasn't the same thing exactly. But isn't it? No, it's not OP. They were both items kept purely out of sentimentality. At least my shirt wasn't making our photo smell musty. She was suddenly calm, and I thought she was willing to talk about it. But she started packing her stuff. I begged her to stay, but she took her car and her stuff and left. I don't know where she went or if she'll be back, but I'm so devastated. It was such a small and dumb thing to split us up over, but I do regret it. Am I the butt butt? And OP has a few updates. I couldn't get a hold of her mom, but I have been on the phone with the sanitation department for our city and they put me on the hold for 45 minutes looking through the trash for our neighborhood. I barely caught them. And it took a lot of pleading and convincing, but they were kind they managed to find the pouch. And I'll have to pay a huge recovery fee, but that's all worth it. They agree to let me pick it up tomorrow. If I can get a hold of my girlfriend, hopefully she'll come back to me and things can be all right. I'll never touch her stuff again if it means she'll stay with me. I'll update this when I get a hold of her. Next update. This will be the last update. I'm so devastated. I got the pouch back from the sanitation center today as soon as they called me at 8 a.m. this morning. It was a little smashed up, but it's okay. If our city wasn't as small as it is, I might not have been able to get it back. I paid them and left. I left a voicemail for my girlfriend telling her I got it back and she finally called me back. She told me she was coming back and I felt butterflies again like when I first met her. I was waiting for her to show up and wanted to fully check the condition of the pouch. So I opened it and discovered what was causing it to smell. There was a cigarette butt in it beside her umbilical cord that looked like it might have been wet at some point. It made the pouch smell like ash, along with the leather stinking from whatever greasy substance was on it. The pouch was okay, so I waited for my girlfriend to come. Well, she came this evening and asked for it immediately. I asked if she wanted to have dinner with me and she said no. I was hurt. She said she was coming back. She told me no. She just wants her pouch. I didn't want to be the butt butt again, so I gave it to her. I told her I loved her and she slammed my own door in my face. I began to mourn our relationship, but she came back in and grabbed me by my shirt and asked why I opened it. I told her I wanted to see if it was okay. She said I didn't need to open it and asked if I took the cigarette out. I told her I just touched it to look at it and she began to cry. She told me she was keeping that since her father committed suicide because it was the last thing he touched. She grabbed me again and thought she was going to hit me, but she just went to our room presumably to see if she got all her stuff.
Then she told me not to contact her again or she'd send her brothers to me. I won't be a butt-butt and get the police involved, but that was definitely a threat. I'm so heartbroken. I've lost my whole life. For two years, she was everything to me. I helped her get off her reservation. I paid for her GED. I did so much for her, but none of it matters now. I put so much time into our relationship and into her. I was in it for the long haul. I know I messed up. I know I'm the butt-butt. I know I'll be alone forever. Thank you for making me see that. I went to her room and she threw what looks like porcupine quills or something everywhere. She stabbed them into my side of the bed, put them in my shoes, in my dresser drawers. It seems spiteful to leave something so difficult to pick out of carpeting and bedding. They're all I have of her now, though. I'm going to keep them. I hope she's better off without me. Lessons learned, I guess. Yes, OP, she's definitely better off without you. You have no idea how many times I wanted to stop myself and scream while reading all your bizarre thoughts and your hoity-toity high and mighty attitude. You don't think you did anything wrong, did you? All right, y'all, I'm getting too heated up. I'm not even making a lot of sense. However, I wanted to highlight this comment from Doom Taxi because they are shedding a light onto the cultural significance of her, the OP's girlfriend having her umbilical cord. They say, I'm indigenous. My tribe is Hunkpati, Dakota. My apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. And our people save the umbilical cord too. We put them in beaded pouches and keep them our whole lives. And they're supposed to be buried with us. They're extremely important, and oftentimes the pouch is made and beaded painstakingly by the person's mother. You had no right to throw it away. Why was putting it in the basement not enough for you? Why wouldn't you have told her you didn't like it and or asked her to put it someplace else or in something else? You're definitely the butt butt. And I agree. And that was r slash am I the butt butt. My name is Red and this is Left on Red. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also press the bell notification button so that you get notified every time I upload new Reddit content. Bye!